Hello and welcome. Since releasing the moss and bone mill farm tutorial, we've come across a number of improvements and a couple of issues which we are going to uh, look at in this video here. And I want to say a big thank you to 12345678910 who also brought up these issues uh, as I was also looking at a couple of them uh, in the background uh, since building the farm. Uh, so let's jump into our tutorial real world so one of the first things is to improve the bone mill that is going to our chest here and reduce the amount that is being built up in these hopper lines as realistically you don't even need that many up in that dispenser up there so if we come down here we've got our chest here what we want to do is take away that one there and then if we just redirect that one this is the one that gets the most amount of bone mill and then that will go there and then these two are the next two that get uh, or produce bone mill and then that goes into the dropper elevator and that should be enough uh, I've run this coil a bit uh, to double check uh, but that should be enough bone mill going up to our dispenser to produce the moss and then we're, we're getting much more from the very start of the farm so if you play with fire tick on uh, what happens is you get a tendency for the first four uh, composters to catch fire from time to time so what we can do is remove these uh, one by one and replace them with a dropper that will reduce the checks that the game is making on the inventory above uh, not as much as composter but this will definitely reduce some lag uh, in your game uh, and what we can also do is place glass on top of all of the water and lava uh, that will help uh, reduce any risk of a falling into the lava or b other items falling into uh, the hopper chains and causing problems elsewhere so there we go that is another small improvement so last but not least if you're having issues with bone mill not traveling up the dropper elevator and you built this design with the glass blocks there's two other ways that you can uh, change this especially if you're playing on a multiplayer server so the first thing to do and the cheapest is to replace uh, the glass block with a top half slab with redstone on top and that should fix most issues oh. the other option is to place in a observer tower clock slightly more expensive uh, does compact it a little bit and down here what we've done is underneath the first full block here we've placed a sticky piston which pushes out the other observer and creates the clock at the bottom and then we'll see all the items uh, or the observers clicking through and uh, that will send up the items from the bottom dropper all the way to the top and uh, this works on a multiplayer server so hopefully that resolves the majority of issues uh, and also a couple of small improvements uh, where required for those of you who have had issues and uh, yeah if there is anything else I will, uh, I will update this video and if you haven't done already please like comment and subscribe I hope to see you again soon. Bye.